Come on in and get some of this good energy. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And I wish the same for my trap. And so it is. Bring it on in. Um, This is going to be a general collective message. Okay? So we're going to find out what's going on together. Um, If you're new here, like the video, please. And thank you. And if you're so fair, cross to do so, subscribe to the platform. If you are a returning family tribe member, peace and prosperity. I mean it every time I say it. And every time I say it, I mean it. I truly, truly do it. So, let's get started. We're going to start off with the Kipper deck. Okay, let's see what the Kipper deck has to say for everyone today. <laughs> All right, I'll just listen to that before I start the recording. But you know I got a man. I don't care right now where you're at right now. I don't give a my shit i love chris brown Ooh, gift somebody could be giving you something okay 17 breakdown to an eight i'm looking at this like the eight of pentacles maybe something that you've been investing in is going to really flourish at this time something could be happening april 17th okay for some of y'all something could be coming in let's see thief okay somebody that could be a thief around you somebody could be trying to stop you from getting this gift we have bad oh bad health 31 breaks down to a four okay this could be um the four swords in reverse somebody could be sick right now maybe there's a thief sick from trying to take something from you some of y'all a thief could be sick from trying to take your gifts this could be what's enhanced. And some of y'all, April 17th is going to be a big day for y'all. I'm just really feeling that. It could be something about April 24th. Okay. I don't know if it's 31 days in this month. It could be April 31st. But sometimes something going on this month, something really good for you is going to happen. And there is definitely a thief who's trying to block something from coming to you. Or that could be someone who's trying to play in your energy and they sick. This could be the four swords in reverse. Bad health. Four swords in reverse is bad health, sickness, illness, a dis uh, distress, um, trauma, um, a, a lot of negative energy around you. In the upright, it represents serenity, peace, tranquility, balance, things, um, you know, coming to a calm, a calm point after a storm. So this is giving me like four swords in reverse. Somebody here is sick as hell. Either they're sick um, from trying to take your gifts or this could be someone who's on pretty much like down in a deathbed and they still trying to fight with everything to block you from getting something. OK, or it could be someone who's sick, who's going to leave you something. OK, somebody could be passing away that month of April. OK, let's see what else. I saw great fortune. That's what that was trying to come over. Coffee. Oh yeah, somebody could be passing away. Somebody could be somebody could be leaving this realm this month. Okay, somebody's birthday could be April seventeenth, April twenty fourth. Could be an Aries. Could be a Taurus. Okay, yeah, something gonna happen with someone this month, or some of y'all, somebody who's been trying to take your gift. We'll see when we get into the tarot. Somebody who's been trying to take your gifts. Um, you know they may pass away because they're still planning your energy. Oh, that came right on out. What is this? We have toil and labor. Okay, 38 breaking down to 11. Good fortune. Good luck. 11 is, you know, uh, is a master number. It also represents the twin flame. I don't like to use that fucking word. So some of y'all, there could be someone that you used to be with or someone, yeah, someone you used to be with. Maybe this is your counterpart. Maybe you're not with this person. This person could be going through bad health. Okay, and this nurse right here could be writing down this this masculine or feminist last will and testament. You see how she's taking a note, okay, with that pad, okay? Somebody could be, you know, talking to someone, wanting them to fulfill their last wishes. Somebody could be on their deathbed, okay? And their last dying wish is to give you something, to make sure you get something. 
Also, for some of y'all, this again, this could be someone who study planning your energy. They study trying to take or block your gifts, something about your gifts enhancing. I mean, like a lot, especially around April 17th, you could be having a lot of prophetic dreams. Your senses could be like like um superhero type of enhanced like your hearing your sight your taste your touch okay your sensitivity also you're going to be very sensitive you know things around you could be really enhancing around april 17th for some of y'all okay also again the first somebody here could be about to pass away and their last willing testament is to give you this gift expectation but there's somebody else who's trying to block it there could be a feminine who's trying to block it 28 could be a Libra or Scorpio feminine who's trying to block this person from giving you something official person judication something is up in court something is being you know uh, somebody is trying to block something somebody could be trying to fight something in court okay it definitely could be a feminine who's trying to block someone from leaving you something some of y'all this could be like a father figure hold on this sports bra it could be like a father figure who's who's about to leave you something for some of y'all so Someone here, your father could be sick, okay? And they could really be thinking about, your father could be a Libra or Scorpio. They could be connected to someone who is greedy, evil. They definitely could be trying to block this person from leaving something. But this this masculine, some of y'all, this is a man, they're leaving this anyway. They doing it behind this woman's back. Okay, this woman, official person, this could be an official person. Your father could be like a military person, ex-police officer, okay, some type of civil servant, okay, that they did for a long time. This person could have a healthy retirement plan, 401k, RA, all that type of shit saved up. Whatever it is they got, you know, is something, it's, it's like really important to them. They leave something to you. And there is a feminine who is trying to block it, okay? They're trying to block it. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'll put that. Put it right here. Yeah. I see the Queen of Pentacles. That could be somebody's wife. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, who's trying to block this person from, you know, um, giving you something. Again, some of y'all still uh, also. Remember, someone here could be sick from planning your energy. It could be a masculine who's sick from planning your energy. Maybe someone has been able to build off of your energy. Also, it could be a feminine here, okay? Go to Queen of Pentacles, keep coming out. And then the Eight of Wands, I keep saying this Queen of Pentacles. So it could be a Virgo towards a Capricorn who could be the wife or the partner or something like that. Six of Swords. See what this is. Strength at the bottom of the deck. You can be a Leo. This could be a Leo, okay? Ace of Cup. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Huh. This definitely could be someone um, that loves you. Or this could be someone that you used to deal with. Like I said, somebody who has love for you. Also, you could be chosen. Always look at that orb inside that globe. You could be this orb, okay? You could be a water sign. You see somebody with their hand. Look at them now. They look like a feminine hand just because of those nails. It could be a masculine too. But they're looking into this crystal ball because they're trying to keep an eye on this orb, this chosen person, this ace of cups. So you could be the official person here, okay? Definitely somebody could be trying to leave you something. King of Swords. Hmm. This could be the justice system. This can be an ancestor. This could be a protector. This can be Archangel Michael protecting you from this thief, okay? And if somebody's been planning your energy, they definitely could be putting them up out of your energy. There they go. The Queen of Pence. They wanted to show their face, okay? Queen of Pence of Cows. Hmm. This could be a woman, okay? This thief. You can be the queen of pentacles. You could be a water sign. You could be an air sign. Two of cups. Hmm. Definitely some type of love partnership. Two of cups represents the soulmate. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. 
Two of Cups is Cancer and Venus. So I'm trying to see here. This could be someone that's, okay, this King of Swords could be connected to this Queen of Pentacles. This King of Swords could be your person. Now, some of y'all take, uh, take it uh, away, it resonates. This Queen of Pentacles can be your person. They could be leaving something to you and leaving out a King of Swords, but I feel like it's the first way. Some of y'all, this King of Swords could be, I said, I said someone could be your counterpart, but they may not be with you. Two of Cups represent a soulmate partnership. Ace of Cups represents true love, okay? It also can represent a, a chosen person. You're very revered by the universe, your ancestors, your guides, your spirit teams, Are you okay? So there's definitely a man who could be sick, okay? There's a man who could be sick. Page of Cups. This person, I feel like for some of y'all, this person's last wish is to make sure you get some type of money. There's something that this person, King of Swords, also can be a military person, a uh, person who works in the justice system, or some type of silver worker, uh, blue collar worker, whatever. This person worked a lot their whole life. There's someone, this could be the father figure. They could be leaving something to you behind their wife back. Their wife can be a queen of pentacles. Like I said, this is someone who has a lot of regret. They want to apologize to you. I feel like if they are leaving you something, when you get it, it's going to be some type of letter, a last confession type thing, uh, uh, some type of remorseful letter connected to whatever they left you because they want you to know where it came from. They want you to know that they apologize maybe for not being there for you like that okay six of wands something that's going to make you very happy there's some type of victory here coming some of y'all you can get some type of correspondence by the end of uh by the end damn why this person always coming out in in the fucking reverse king of wands so you can have somebody else who's you know trying to block this okay also, you know, this King of Wands here, because they're burning, this King of Wands could be the person who is in trouble for study, playing into your energy, study, calling in your energy, study, getting up in the way, study, getting in the way. They're blocking whatever this is, or they're trying to block whatever this is, right? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, is right up on the Ace of Cups, which represent, or well, together add up to the Ten of Cups. Something's going to make you very happy. We have the King of Pentacles up under the King of Swords. The King of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Some of y'all, this is your father. Some, someone here, this is your father. Your father could be leaving you a substantial amount of money. This could be an absentee father. This could be a person that, you know, wasn't really in your life. And I feel like they have a lot of regret of, uh, about that with the Page of Cups here. Whatever this is they're giving you, it's going to make you very happy with the Six of Wands, okay? And I feel like it's, it's going to be something substantial. There's also going to be some type of letter attached to it. It's going to be like in a cafe because a page of uh, cups can be romantic messages, okay? It's communicating, letting somebody know how you feel. It's like an immature... It could be an immature love offer. I feel like this is something sincere, though. This is really coming from this person. Huh? I feel like whoever this masculine was, when they had you, they was pretty young. They could have went on and had a family with another person. And again, they wasn't really in your life. This person is married to someone. This could be like a military man or, again, some type of civil servant, servant or someone who works in the justice system. But they have a lot of remorse for not being there for you. And then there's a king of wands in reverse here. There's a king of wands in reverse who's sick from playing in your energy. Up under the queen of pentacles, we have the justice card, Libra energy, okay? See, the scales are going to be balanced in your favor because whatever this is, it's for you. It's for you. It's meant for you. And this, this man here is going to make sure that you get whatever it is that they're leaving you. They're going to make sure you get it. Because who's ever... Whoever trying to fight you for this, and I feel like it's their wife, okay, a bitter person too at that. Up under the two of cups, you have the five of wands. This is someone who was really conflicted, okay? Some of y'all, um, this person may not, and like intentionally not been in your life. It could have something to do with your mother on your side, you know, who kind of blocked this person from being into your life, being there for you. I feel like this father figure really loved you. Even when you was a little kid, you know, I feel like your mother for some of y'all was bitter and didn't allow this man to be in your life. So that's why as a last will and testament, a last a gesture, a loving gesture, this man is going to leave you a substantial amount of money. Page of Cups, we have the chariot here, okay? 
this is victory. This is you moving forward. Some of y'all, you know, this this um information, this blessing is coming from a distance, okay? Somebody father here is, is you know, they're on their deathbed, okay? And some of y'all, if you never knew your birth father, they knew about you. And they're going to let you know in a letter. They're going to write you a, a letter. It's going to be like a portfolio, a thick a thick piece. Of, they got this lady right here, whoever this is taking care of them. It could be like a nurse, a confidant. Somebody who take care of this masculine is literally taking like notes. They got a whole fucking like book damn near. This man had a lot to express to you. I feel like it's going to explain a lot about your life. It's going to explain to you why this father figure wasn't in your life. And they're going to tell you something about your mother. For some of y'all, your mother could be a fire sign, okay? They could be this fire sign in reverse. But some of y'all, uh, like I said initially, you got a king of wands in reverse who's a thief. This person been studying, planning your energy. Some of y'all, they're going to pass away too, okay? Because they study, been planning your energy, trying to manifest off of because you're an ace of cups, okay? That means you have very abundant energy. You're a good manifester. You're a lucky, you, you're, like a, you're like a rabbit's foot. You're a lucky gem, and whoever this king of wands in reverse is, my belly start itching when I say it there. Whoever this king of wands in reverse is, they know it. And for some of y'all, they have been getting victory off your energy. But something, like the last time they tried to tap into your energy, you see them worms in this person's hand? They were shocked because they couldn't get anything. Whatever this person has been used to doing to you, they can't do it anymore. So they're being blocked. So there's two stories here, okay? There's a king of wands in reverse who's sick. The plan of your energy, study fucking with you. And then there is a father figure who's passing away. Some of y'all, you may not know your birth father. Or your mother could have told you one person was your father. And you're going to find out who your real father. Because your real father is could be wealthy. And when I mean wealthy, I mean um, a loving person. They have acquired a lot in their life because they worked hard for it. Some of y'all, this literally could be like a military man. Or again, a civil servant or somebody who works for the justice system in some way, shape, or form. And they had a long career. This is an older man, too. Okay? Six of ones is the four of ones. Okay? So whatever this is, is going to bring forth stability for you. Okay? Um, some of y'all, this man could also be leaving you property. Okay? You could be finding out this, this, this masculine is going to, this father figure is going to leave you property. And also, you know, I feel like, um... Because this building looks so strong and it look like bricks or whatever the case may be. It's not wood or nothing. I feel like your energetic field has become so strong. Your spiritual team, this King of Swords, Archangel Michael, has become so protective of you because you're, you're rising up in rank. You're growing spiritually. Six of Wands, you're growing spiritually. So whoever this King of Wands in reverse is, they have to get kicked out of your energy. This person has to move on. But, you know, I feel like this is one of them people. King of Wands in reverse is just like the Queen of Wands. They can be a mug. They're like the Queen of Swords and King of Swords. All of them in reverse. But particularly fire and air in reverse, um, you know, they something else. Like I said, everybody could be like that because water signs in reverse could be very emotionally manipulative, abusive. They can be something else too. But it's something about this fire because fire fire signs are very impulsive, very passionate. They, they go off of how they, you know, kind of like how they feel at the moment. They get bored really fast, you know what I'm saying? That's why they can change their partners pretty quickly, especially Sagittarius and Aries. Leo a little bit more. They have a little cockiness about them, but they're a little bit more long-term when it comes to partnerships. As long as you treating them right, showing them attention, showing them, hey, I fuck with you and only you, Leo. But whoever this fire sign is in reverse, they're getting kicked out of your energy and some of y'all, they're going to pass away because they refuse to stop. They refuse to stop. They've been working at this for a long time with the toil and labor. This thief, okay? And I feel like they've been stealing your energy. And this father, like I said, whoever this father figure is who's about to leave you this money, they've been working hard their whole life. Some of y'all, you don't know who your real father is. You're going to find out because they're going to leave you I mean, like, they're going to leave you so much information, it's just going to blow your mind, okay? Because some of y'all, you're going to find out your your mother lied to you about who your father is, okay? Some of y'all, your mother could have been a single parent, and it was by choice. She didn't have to be. It's something like, it's like she wanted. It's, it's like your mother had some type of wounds where she wanted you to feel the same that she felt. Your father could have wanted to be in your life, wanted to take care of you, wanted to be there for you, but your mother could have blocked this person out of your life. Up under this King of Wands in reverse, we got the Nine of Wands. This King of Wands is fighting some type of demons. You see this octopus um, tentacle? About to grab them up. So whatever they've been playing with, whatever they've been sending towards you, whatever they've been using to keep you down and siphon your energy, they can no longer look at the devil here. Look at the devil. 
They gotta pay what they, <laughs> they gotta pay what they owe. And then the sun, okay? The devil to the sun. That's God and then the devil. Okay. I feel like this King of Wands been raging war against you, okay? This King of Wands is connected to this energy. You are connected to this energy, okay? There's been some type of spiritual warfare. Look, and there's the truth. You see that sword, that dagger? Like I'm telling you, whatever this person trying to do last, they got binded for that. They got binded up and blocked, okay? This person literally, if you look at this in the upright, have you ever heard? Look up, if you haven't never read about it or did any research about it, look up purgatory. Look at what people go through when they're in purgatory. And that picture describes it very much so. This masculine could be going through it. This masculine may be having sleepless nights or this feminine, okay? I got to read it birth ways. It could be a masculine woman. Whoever this king wants in reverse is, they're going through it, okay? Some of y'all, this could be um, could be a Leo. That's all the sun. Could be an Aries. Could be a Sagittarius, okay? But whoever this is, they're going through it. Your father figure, your father figure can be an earth or an air sign, Okay? King of Swords, all kings are earth, queens are water, knights are fire, pages are air, okay? So this could be someone, this could be like a, someone with a lot of earth and air in their child who's your father, who's your birth father, your real father. I don't know, maybe you thought somebody else was your daddy or you didn't have a father figure in general, okay? What else? We have the Page of Wands, good news. So you see this woman? With this gun in their hand, this is somebody who wants to stop you at all costs. I feel like whoever this king of wands in reverse, whether it's a woman or a man, they are they definitely <laughs> this person definitely trying to stop you. Be careful. This person could be around you lurking. This person could be waiting for to catch you somewhere so they can do something to you because they don't want you to move forward. This person don't want you to exist in this realm if they cannot have you know ties to you or be attached to you in some way, shape, or form. That's kind of fucked up. I don't like um, reading stuff like that. The lovers. And it was trying to come out in reverse. So I'm going to put it in reverse because it came out like this. So it goes in reverse. Lovers in reverse. This is somebody who don't have love for people. Okay? This is somebody who don't have a heart. Okay? Some of y'all, whoever um, this father figure is, your mother could have told you that this person didn't want to have nothing to do with you. She could have made you think that your father was like, your father could be a Gemini. Could have been, you no know, or, or air sign in general. Could have been trying to tell you that your father, the justice here too, could be a Libra too. Your mother could have told you that this father figure didn't care about you, but they did. They loved you with all their heart and they wanted to be in your life. Your mother was bitter. Bitter. She didn't allow him to. High priestess. Okay. This falling on top of this queen of pentacles. Some of y'all, you know, again, this, this masculine, they have a wife. We have the empress. Okay. The, I'm telling you, a mother. A mother figure is why this masculine was not in your life. This is your mother. Father. Your mother could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Your mother could be a, a, a Libra or a Taurus. Okay? I say Pisces or Cancer because I see the High Priestess right here. So, your mother is the reason why this masculine went in your life. And for some of y'all... It's King of Wands in reverse, whether it's a man or a woman, they want to stop you because you done stepped into this energy where you're in this high priestess empress energy yourself. This person can no longer, I told you, your energetic field, it's became like a force field. It's impenetrable. This person can't break through that again, okay? They can't break through your force field anymore. This person probably was able to siphon your energy, astral project to you, fuck with your psyche, especially while you were sleeping. Something about your sleep state, okay? What this masculine or what this feminine was doing, they can't do it anymore. The moon here, okay? Everything is going to be exposed. Some of y'all look, yeah, some of you are going to find out something. You're going to find out some secrets here with the moon, all right? Definitely going to find out some secrets with the moon, and it's all about your lineage, your bloodline, your DNA, who you are, where you come from. Some of y'all, your father ain't even your father. Hell, for some of y'all, your mother ain't even your mother. This woman could have took care of you for someone. Someone could have had you very, very, very young, okay? Or you and your mother and your father was very young when they had you. And again, there's something about this woman being bitter 
not wanting this because you know what when you was younger your father could have doted over you they could have been very happy to have you proud to be your father loved you especially if you're a girl your father really loved you your mother didn't like that there's something something in her wasn't right something bitter something evil some type of trauma that she needed to deal with she could have literally blocked this man out of your life some of y'all when they was young you know they had you and as this man got older maybe he went and married this queen of pentacles right here we got the strength card right here this also let me know whoever this king of wands in reverse it. again it could be a leo they're not trying to give up on whatever they doing whatever this person been doing this person is willing to take you out too to keep you from stepping into your divinity they want to block you. They want to keep you from, you know, stepping into your gift. Something is happening with y'all, uh, whoever I'm talking to. April 17th is going to be a very significant day for you. It's something that's going to show up, okay? You have the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, again, this also let me know that whoever this is, you're no longer collaborating with this person, okay? Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This partnership is over with, complete, finito, finished, over with, okay? This also lets me know that you've been thinking for a long time that, you know, your father didn't want to have nothing to do with you. They didn't love you or they was non-existent on purpose. You know, I don't know what story your mom gave you, but I just feel like your father really did care about you. It was your mother who blocked this person from being in your life because for some of y'all, as they got older, they, they, they could have met this queen of pentacles, okay? Now, as far as like the money go, this Queen of Pentacles is trying to stop this father from leaving you something. For some, for some of y'all, you could be someone eldest child, and they may have other children, but you could be like this person's firstborn. That's why I said when you was younger, this person could have really doted on you. They really loved you, like they was happy that you know that your mother had you. But it was something about the way your father looked at you, the way your father loved you. Your mother didn't like this, so she could have blocked this masculine out of your life, out of hate, out of bitterness. Okay. Or this woman that she need her ass whooped. Like, for real. She need her ass whooped. Because this mother was jealous of how your father looked at you. Love you. The Emperor Six of Swords. This is your father. Your father could be an Aries, Taurus, or Scorpio. Could be an air sign, too. Wow. This is your father. Your father is about to transition. This Emperor, this father figure... This king of pants, king of swords, they are about to transition. This person is about to lead this realm. And they're going to leave you something substantial, something that's going to make you really happy. Yeah, the world, this person is going to pass over. Okay, some of y'all, you can hear something about, you can hear something about someone passing over in the month of April, by the end of April. Someone could definitely be leaving this world. And this woman right here, whoever his caretaker is, this is not his wife. This is someone who he trusts. A confidant, somebody who you trust to take this information to make sure it's going to get to you. And it's going to get to you. It's going to get to you. It's definitely going to get to you. The world, the magician, and then the three of swords. Wow. And a death card, and a devil. I'm going to tell you something, too. This queen of pentacles, whoever their wife is, it could be something that's going to come out about this woman making this man sick, too. But it's probably going to be after he passed away. Also, whoever this king of wands in reverse, whether it's a woman or a man, it could be a Leo for some of y'all, a man or a woman. This person has been doing a lot of heavy death magic on you. This person is literally best friends with the devil. Literally. Literally. This is a devil's pawn. Okay, this person do the devil's bidding. Okay, you ain't the first person that they probably done done this to, but you damn sure the last, cause they gonna they gonna pass up out of here too. The world, the magician, okay, the death card, the devil, and then the three of swords. Yeah, they gonna pass up. Someone here may pass away from a heart attack. Um, your father figure may pass away from a heart attack. And if it is, it's from this Queen of Pentacles, their wife. Their wife is a high priestess. Could be a dark one. There's a lot of stuff here now. Okay? Damn, this definitely somebody having somebody gonna have a heart attack. It's King of Wands in reverse. I don't care if it's a man or a woman. And it could be a Leo. They're gonna have a heart attack. Death card, three of swords, three of swords is air element, is linked to the heart chakra. Definitely somebody gonna have a heart heart attack from all the magic they've been doing. The world, it's over with. That's the end of a cycle. It could be the end of a life. Okay, this is someone who lurks in the darkness and does does the devil's bidding. Yeah, they do. And it's going to be illuminated. Okay, 
And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Look, all this Seven of Swords energy somebody be doing. Look, Eight of Swords. Look at them. Look at them in the corner of that demon. Slobbing at the mouth. Yes, this is someone. Ooh, wee. Two of Wands. This is a person who blocks people paths. Okay? They could block people intuitions for money. The Six of Pentacles. This person literally has a contract with the devil. Whoever this is. This King of Wands in reverse. They got a contract with the devil. And look at them. They, they be lurking. Look at their eyes. The eyes are the wonder to the soul. This person be lurking. They always lurking, okay? This is someone who pops up in people's life could show up as a friend, okay? Nine of Cups can be a love bomber. This could be a person who's in and out with relationships. And then if I, like if they meet somebody that they want to take from, they show up as a, as a friend. Look how their eyes look again. Look how the eyes is highlighting this card. Something about this person's eyes, too, okay? Some of y'all, this person... Flesh may look normal, but this is what they look like on the inside. If you really can see spiritually, your spiritual eye, you'll be able to see that this person looks just like this. This is a greedy person, too. Greedy, mean-spirited person. Four of Swords. I feel like this is your father, okay? The Hierophant. God is calling your father home, okay? Your birth father. I don't know who you think your father is, or if you don't got one. And your mother was a single parent. Then you do have a father. You have, you have a father who could be, again, um... Hierophant, hierarchy, some higher authority. This could be someone, again, who work in the justice system or a civil worker or someone who's a military person. But they are definitely about to pass over. When they do, they're going to have peace. This person is going to leave you something substantial with the Ace of Pentacles. And when you do, you're going to be able to walk away from a situation that you may be needing to walk away from. Okay? You're going to move on. Four of Cups, Three of Wands, Seven of Wands. Hmm. Some of y'all, this this woman could have, you know, injected this man with something that's going to cause him. Well, she will be injecting this man with something that's going to cause a heart attack. And I feel like what she's going to do, what she's going to poke him at, it's going to be really hard to find the spot. This man's wife could be like a nurse, a doctor or something like that. She knows about, uh, you know, anatomy. She knows what to shoot him with. She know what to make, know what to use to make it look like a heart attack. Wow. Ten of Swords. The Star. The Hermit. This wish fulfillment coming in from for you. And um the hermit is like secret. You don't you don't see this coming. Eight of Wands, this communication. Ace of Wands is gonna forge you a new beginning. I'm telling you, some of y'all you're gonna pick up and move the fool here, okay? Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups, Temperance. I don't know why, but I told you your mother could be a water sign. Your mother could also be a Libra or Taurus. They're going to be in heavy regret once you find out about your family with the Ten of Cups. The scales are going to be balanced with the Two of Coins. You're going to find out that your father actually really loved you and not just loved you. They loved your mom, but your mom was bitter. Your mother could have been carrying these secrets for a long time. It has burdened them. Night of Wands, Hangman. Somebody is making it their last will and testament to take inspired action to get you this communication to let you know what the hell was what. Okay, you could be much older now. This man could have been in two minds. And some of y'all over the years, this person could have tried to reach out to you via your mother or communicate. Your mother could have kept up with this person over the years, just never told you about it. Hmm. Nine of coins, page of coins. There's someone who's very abundant, Okay. And they're going to give you something. The page of coin, that's going to be a nice little nice little amount of something. It's going to start a new contract, okay? Their wife can be a fire, uh, I told you, Leo. Their wife can be a fire earth sign or this is that Leo I'm talking about. So this king of wands, queen of wands, here can be a couple who's under judgment for this action they keep taking, okay? Queen of swords, eight of coins, will of fortune. You could be a queen of swords. All right, you can have heavy air placements. Don't have to be your sun sign, but you can have heavy air placements, okay? And also earth placements for some of y'all. You have the tower, the knight of swords, the eight of coins, the six of cups, and then the nine of swords. There's a tower coming to some action that was taken in the past that has someone stressed out over, okay? From all this work they've been doing with the Eight of Coins. There has been a King of Wands in reverse. 
possibly connected to a queen of wands who is fucking lost, uh, lost their mind too. That's been attacking you. That you know, one or both of these people is gonna pass over from a heart attack. Whoever this father figure is, their wife is going to do something. Their wife is going to inject them. She's going to inject them with something. She did. Their wife can be like a nurse, or she knows something about. Uh, she know a lot of uh, things about anatomy, about body, about chemicals, about medicine. Again, that's why I said she could be like a nurse, a registered nurse, a nurse practitioner. She could be a doctor. OK, because this man is an official person, whoever this father figure is, he's well known. OK, he can work in the medical field. He could work in the justice system. He can be a military man. He could be a civil servant. So like a, a blue collar man, whatever the case may be, whatever it is, he have gained a lot of wealth in this lifetime. And he's going to leave it to you. And when he leaves it to you, there's going to be page of cup. There's going to be a, a confession. There's, he's going to fill in a lot of gaps for you. If you've been questioning where you come from or, you know, you have you one of them people, man or woman, that has, like, father issues because that void has been there from you not having a relationship with your father or not knowing your father, it's really going to probably hurt you. Even though you're older, you're going to find out that it was your mother's fault. She blocked this man out of your life because this man, you know, could have found this queen of pentacles and, you know, moved on with their life. They was really young when they had you. Your parents was really young when they had you. Wow. Hmm. This is sad. Sorry, but this is this is kind of messing with messing with my little feels because this is not cool. Okay, this is not cool. Let's get a angel number. Seventy-seven, seventy-seven. Press severe. So seventy-seven is fourteen. Seventy-seven is fourteen. Fourteen is five. Fifty-five. Uh, so change coming. Fifty-five. Five and five is ten. There's an ending to. I feel like the, there's an ending to these secrets. Change of perspective, reflection, inner strength, wisdom, enlightenment. There's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now. I told you some of y'all, you may have a lot of questions. You may have always had questions. Whatever questions you had associated with your father, they're going to answer for you. And it's too bad that they're going to answer when they pass away because some of y'all, this person know that their wife is up to no good. And I don't really feel like, even though they know, I don't feel like they're going to see this coming, what this Queen of Pence is going to do to them. And if you do find out about something, I feel like there's going to be something in the letter for you to contact the authorities about your birth father for you to expose this queen of pentacles because they're going to tell you a lot of things and they're going to tell you something about this wife of theirs too. They say, if you want to see, you need to keep going down the road your own. Reach for the wisdom within and then you'll just know what the right next step is. Some of y'all, you're going you're gonna to get justice for this father figure. They're going to leave you something in a letter, some type of uh, manifesto, some type of portfolio, some type of um, script. Whatever this is, they whatever this is, this woman is writing down this car. It's going to entail a lot. It's going to entail a lot about some things that they need to fill in the gaps in your life. And there's also going to be something about this wife of theirs. Some of y'all, this wife's going to go to jail. She's definitely going to go to jail. Let me see this. Expectation, official person, high honor. This always gives me somebody that's going to the upper room, you know. Adjudication, mature man. There he go, child. Family room. I'm telling you, going to find out something about your family. This man could be leaving you a house. This man dated your mother, okay. You could be a man, okay. And if you've been in any type of poverty or been going through, you're no longer going to be in it now. They're definitely going to tell you something about their wife, okay. Main female. She could be a female too. Lovers. I feel like this masculine really loved you. They loved you when you was a child. Your mother blocked them out of your life. Great fortune. I'm telling you, you got money coming. Uh, some of y'all, this woman going to try to fight you tooth and nail for this money, okay? I told you over the years, this man could have reached out to you to no avail. That mean no answer, no correspondence because the letters was getting blocked, okay? And look, this man may have even been keeping up with you as you, got, as you became an adult, right? 
Okay, that's why the page of swords here. This this man could have been watching you your whole life in two minds about if they want to contact you or come into your life or even reveal to you how would that, you know, mess you up. They was really thinking about how you're going to feel. So this person was, they wasn't intentionally trying to hurt you. They were trying to protect you because whatever this person is going to tell you, it's going to be a lot. And it's going to be heavy in your heart. They're also going to give you direction to get some stupid-ass bra locked up. Whoever this woman is, it's going to fucking inject them with something. They're going to they're gonna give you information to get this person locked up. Some of y'all, again, this person could be at a distance from you. There's a change coming. You are going to be at a moon. I'm telling you, somebody could be leaving you a house. They're going to give you information about this false person who wanted to be the previous lady. I find that crazy when somebody already doing good by you, taking care of you. And I feel like they're going to leave her something. That's the thing. They're going to leave her something. Even though they know what's going on. And I feel like they know what's going on spiritually. They've been already warned about this person, that this person finna shit pass away. They know they finna pass away. And before they do, they want to make sure they rectify things with you. Occupation, this is someone who literally worked their whole life, a hard worker. Message of concern, I feel like because when it's all said and done, this woman ain't going to wind up getting shit from them because of what she did. Okay, the only thing she's going to get is she's going to go to jail. Sudden wealth, you got some money coming in. Despair, hmm. Whoever this is, um, and this king of wands in reverse, they could be they could be connected to a queen of wands too. Whoever these people are, I feel like they're gonna be in despair, and they're gonna be in concern too. Cause it's something about them too. One of them or both of them, somebody gonna have a heart attack. Okay, wealthy man. Your father's a wealthy man. Okay, this is coming in the near future. I'm telling you, some of y'all something is significant about April 17th. That's not too far away from here. Okay, and look, community. You're going to find out where you, who you truly belong to, where you truly belong. You're going to find out about your family, your roots, when you get this unexpected income. And I told you, last but least, you are a mature woman. You could be an older woman. Oh, this is a lot. This, this, is, this is a lot, a lot. Bottom of the deck, we got readjustments. So there are definitely some readjustments coming. It's going to be a lot of information. It's, it's probably going to be heavy on your heart, but... I feel like there's a lot of questions that you have needed to, uh, you know, need you needed answers. There's been a void there that when it's concerning your father figure, you know, some of y'all, you could have been raised by a stepfather or, you know, um, or like I said, your mother could have been a single parent and she could have told you all type of atrocious thing or lied to you about why your father was around. What you're going to find out is this woman blocked this man out of your life and it may make you have some type of disdain towards her. Because they're going to tell you the truth. And what they're telling you, I, Ace of Swords, I feel like it's nothing but the God's honest truth. What this mask is going to reveal to you. They're also going to give you directive or they're going to give you information or they're going to give you evidence to get this woman locked up to their wife. Because she greedy. Because I feel like this man was going to leave her something. The thing is, she wanted everything. She didn't want him to leave no one nothing. They may even have children. And she could be thinking about... Scream not thinking about she could be communicating like why is you leaving this person something? You don't they don't even know you whatever not and he could have told her like you know that's my child. Again, some of y'all you you can be somebody's firstborn child and they could have other kids after you. They again they was never in your life, but they definitely could have been there for their other kids. But I feel like if your mama would allow them to, they would have been there for you too. Oh, this is this is crazy. So this father figure going to pass away by the hands of their wife. They could know that their wife been doing something to them. This woman could have been poisoning them. Okay. She could have been injecting them. She could have been their care. Again, too, what I'm getting, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting a lot of uh, messages. This woman could have been this man caretaker at first. And then they found out, you know, what was going on. Or maybe she thought this person was sleeping. They could have saw her doing something. They hired a new person to take care of them. But I feel like whatever she was giving them, it did so much damage that it's, you know, it's irreversible. So they know they're about to pass away. And before they pass away, they want to make sure. I feel like they want to clear their conscience. They want to make things right. So they're going to they're gonna reveal themselves to you. But it's definitely going to be either as they finna pass away or after they pass away, you're going to get this communication. But you are going to get it. Wow. That's crazy. And as far as this king of wands in reverse and whoever this queen of wands they connected to, one of these people can be a Leo. 
these people, if not both of them, one of them going to pass away from a heart attack from all the death magic. Somebody is literally, both of these people probably literally the devil's pawn. They work literally for the devil and has been for a long time. Probably even, you know, this could have been somebody that she was dealing with. Maybe even when you was dealing with this person, you didn't realize that they was connected to you know, the devil. With that three of wands, two of them people in a row, this person could be in some type of cult, some type of organization, okay, with the hierarchy, some type of hierarchy group. And... This is what they do. Hmm. That's crazy. People fucking crazy. I feel bad. This ain't even none of my story, but I just feel bad for whoever this is because just imagine knowing that somebody is poisoning you or hurting you and you had every intention on doing right by them, but because they not receiving everything, they want to take you out. They don't want you to leave anyone nothing. I feel like this woman don't even want, she want to be the privileged lady. I don't feel like this woman even want this man to leave. They have children. I don't even feel like she want them to leave, him to leave their children or anything. She want all this man money. This man may have multiple properties. This man is a hard worker. Everything he got, he earned. It's not one of the people who did dirty, underhanded things to get what they want. This is somebody who acquired everything by hard work, blood, sweat, and tears here with this toil and labor. And it's like the audacity of whoever the fuck this Queen of Pentacles is. They could be an earth sign or they could be any damn sign, but you know, Queen of Pentacles is a wife. This woman is definitely some type of high priestess too. Either, you know, uh, again, this man is some type of official person. Their wife can have a good career too. That just even more shows greed, you know. Again, this wife can be a nurse, a, a nurse practitioner, a, a registered nurse, a LPN. She can be a doctor of some sorts, okay, or work in the medical field, maybe medical building or something, but she have knowledge about medicine, the anatomy of the body, and this woman could have been doing something to this man. To the point he had to hire another person to take care of them. Wow. That's crazy. Just imagine knowing somebody hurting you and still want to be kind hearted and leave them something. Because you know you can't take it with you. And another thing too I'm getting, this is not a selfish or greedy man. This is a selfless man. This is a man who took good care of this queen of pentacles. Even if she got her own career, even if she got her own money, she still didn't never have to worry about nothing when she's with this man. But she greedy. It's her greed that has taken over because she don't want this man to leave none of nobody. She wants this man to leave everything to her. I don't know who fuck the story this is, but baby, this woman needs to go to hell. You heard me. H-E double hockey stick on a sliding board with grease and fire. I mean that. That's fucked up. <laughs> this is your message. Keep your faith high. You feel low. Find peace within. Laters.